Hello everyone, I am Sudha, Assistant Professor, Department of Biotechnology, St. Joseph College of Arts and Science for Women, Hozur. Now we are going to see about overview of nervous system. What is nervous system? The nervous system or the neural system is a complex network of neurons specialized to carry messages. The complexity of the nervous system increases as we move towards higher animals. For instance, cnidarians such as jellyfish have relatively simple nerves nuts spread throughout their body. Crabs have a more complicated nervous system in the form of two nerve centers called dorsal ganglion and ventral ganglion. As we move further up the ladder, higher organisms such as vertebrates have a developed brain. Moreover, it is one of the most complicated structures in the animal kingdom, containing billions of neurons all intricately connected. In the human body, the neural system integrates the activity of organs based on the stimuli, which the neurons detect and transmit. They transmit messages in the form of electrical impulses and convey messages to and from the sense organ. Thus, the nervous coordination involves the participation of the sense organs, nerves, spinal cord and brain. Human nervous system. This human nervous system contains brain, nerves, digestive tract, spinal cord, ganglia. Parts of the nervous system. One of the most complex organ system to ever evolve, the human nervous system consists of two parts, namely central nervous system, it consists of the brain and spinal cord. Peripheral nervous system, it includes all the nerves of the body. Central nervous system, the central nervous system is often called the central processing unit of the body. It consists of the brain and the spinal cord. Brain. The brain is one of the important, largest and central organ of the human nervous system. It is the control unit of the central nervous system, which helps us in discovering new things, remembering and understanding, making decision and a lot more. It is enclosed within the skull which provide frontal, lateral and dorsal protection. The human brain is composed of three major parts. Four brain. The anterior part of the brain consists of cerebrum, hypothalamus and thalamus. Midbrain. The smaller and the central part of the brain stem consists of tectum and tegmentum. Hindbrain. The central region of the brain composed of cerebellum, medulla and pons. Spinal cord. The spinal cord is a cylindrical bundle of nerve fibers and associated tissues enclosed within the spine and connect all parts of the body to the brain. It begins in continuation with the medulla and extends downwards. It is enclosed in a bony cage called vertebral column and surrounded by membranes called meninges. The spinal cord is concerned with the spinal reflex action and the conduction of nerve impulse to and from the brain. Autonomical Neural System The autonomic neural system is involved in involuntary action like regulation of physiological functions that is digestion, respiration, salivation, etc. It is a self-regulating system which conveys the impulses from CNS to the smooth muscles and involuntary organs, heart, bladder and pupil. The autonomic neural system can be further divided into sympathetic nervous system, parasympathetic nervous system. Neuron. A neuron is a 
structured and functional unit of the nervous system and unlike other cells neurons are irregular in shape and able to conduct electrochemical signals the different parts of neurons are discussed below dendrite stretches out from the cell body of neuron and it is the shortest fiber in the cell body axon is the longest thread on the cell body of neuron and has an insulating and protective sheath of mycelin around it cell body consists of cytoplasm and nucleus synapse is the microscopic gap between a pair of adjacent neurons over which nerve impulse pass when moving from one neuron to the other peripheral nervous system peripheral nervous system is the lateral part of nervous system that develops from the central nervous system which connect different parts of the body with the central nervous system we carry out both voluntary and involuntary actions with the help of peripheral nerves pns includes two types of nerve fibers afferent nerve fibers these are responsible for transmitting messages from tissue and organs to the central nervous system efferent nerve fibers these are responsible for conveying messages from cns to the corresponding peripheral organ classification of peripheral nervous system somatic neural system it is a neural system that controls the voluntary actions in the body by transmitting impulses from cns to skeletal muscle cells it consists of the somatic nerves 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 are thread like structure that emerge from the brain and spinal cord it is responsible for carrying messages to all the parts of the body there are three types of nerves some of these neurons can fire signals at speeds of over 119 m or s or above 428 km per hour function of the nerves sensory nerves send messages from all the sense to the brain motor nerves carry messages from brain to all the muscles mixed nerves carry both sensory and motor nerves thank you